Yo, what up though? Long time no see. See the sunburn? Nose cooked. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you guys what's going on with Ryan Garcia. Anyway, this is my thoughts on it. I'm sure you have yours, but uh, it doesn't take this long to get test results after a fight. How long is this? This is over a month after the fight with Devin Haney. Now there's a lot of things that Ryan Garcia said and uh, a lot of people weren't pleased with it. So, you know, it's a deep issue. Plus the fact that nobody's talking about. Ryan Garcia bet $2 million on himself and won $12 million. Vegas is not ha happy about that. There's a lot of money involved here. So if this fight is ruled a no contest or um, DQ or whatever, then I'm sure that money has to go back to Vegas. When you make that much money and all the other people that bet on Ryan, Vegas is not happy. You ever been to casino? How many times have you walked out with more than you came in with? Think about it. But uh, when you say too many things that reveal things, you get messed with. So when he's saying he was set up, he was absolutely set up. This dude did not take anything. If so, it would not take this long after the fight for it to come out. And just do your research. I always tell people, don't believe me. I could, I could be telling you something that's not true. Look into it for yourself. When you start doing something admirable or um, you do something that's uh, well respected, they're going to go after you. He's not the only one this has happened to. So I know what to look for when it happens. So everybody talking about, oh, he's a cheater. No, he's not a cheater. And if you don't believe me, get famous, start talking some truth and see what happens to your career. So I don't think he's going to retire either. You know, that a lot of that was out of frustration when uh, I believe he said he's going to retire because he was set up. You know, you'd be frustrated too. You fight the best fight of your life and you win $12 million to go along with the purse you already got. And then somebody, oh man, you tested for uh, some uh, steroids in your salad. Like, dude, if you don't stop, it does not take steroids to beat Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia already fought him three times in the amateurs. He heard him there. He knew he could hurt him in the pros. So, like, what, he's just got on steroids to really finish him off. If y'all don't stop. Um, but, uh, yeah, Ryan Garcia didn't take no uh, Osterine or whatever it is or ostrich juice. I don't know. If it was illegal, he didn't take it. Believe me, he didn't take it. And, uh Devin Haney's just probably not in a good place, and he's looking for a way to get this off his record. But uh, all of us that study things, that knows what goes on in society, we know what the deal is, and we know Ryan Garcia did not take anything that's banned. If he did, it was not intentional, but there's bigger things at play. Remember the lady that retired all of, uh, quit all of a sudden from the New York Commission? What was that about? Why she just quit? All of a sudden, because there's some funny business going on, y'all. Stop being bad. Stop believing everything you see on TV. Look into it. Stop believing all the major uh, press clippings. Look into things. ES News just reported that Ryan Garcia is, I uh, think, someone just rated him number two, so they're not buying it either. Anyway, that's my take. It's the J. Roos Theory. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe if you wish to donate to the platform. Uh, the cash app is dollar sign jroos33 and i'm gonna start doing members only videos so if you want to check those out they'll be a little different than what you see here so if you wish to become a member you can become bronze silver or gold and go check out what they mean anyway lsr forever and uh yeah oh what next week we got deontay wilder zang and dubois hergovich don't want to miss that be fearless. Yeah, yeah.